What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Nature's Always Right. Hey, guys. Say hi to Steven. If you're a member or if you're new to the channel, you probably came to the channel because of this guy's video that we did, the tour of his farm. Today, we're going to be doing a bunch of different videos on just different aspects of his farm and like doing a deeper dive. Uh, I promise I'll talk less. <laughs> and the brow game is strong with Steven. Yeah. The brow game is strong. Never plucking these babies. We actually, the best comment we ever got <laughs> was, <laughs> was, uh, what was it? It, it was, was like, you know, you need to use some neem oil on those caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. For a second, I thought these, <laughs> these comments were a little harsh and I saw that one. I was like, that's actually pretty funny. So we are going to be doing some tours and today we're going to cut into a tour of his greens washing system. Yes. So we're going to cut it, we're going to wash it, and we're going to dry it all in 15 minutes, maybe yeah. something like that. So stay tuned. Peace. So on this, on my drill, I use the, the drill mode. So like if you're going to bore a hole into something and then you want to use like a lower torque, I'm using nine. Every drill is going to be a little bit different though. So I would try that out. Um, so you attach it on right here and tighten it. Okay. Put the strap on. That gave us some support. So the genius of this invention um, is that this blade is serrated and it oscillates back and forth and it creates this really perfect cutting motion for the baby greens. So when you're using it, you use it at full power, cuts it instantly and these ropes help push it softly into this basket. And they really designed this super well. When the greens go into the back, it's so easy to dump it into your bin. And we're gonna go and make a quick cut and show you guys how it works. All right, let's see what that looks like. That was five seconds. And how much do you think you have right there? It's like a pound. Five seconds harvesting a pound. That dumps right in. Boom. That's, so, that's so easy. Yeah, it's, it's a really beautiful engineering thing. It's such a good job. Very impressive. All right, let's keep going. All right, so then if I was gonna keep harvesting for my mix, you know, I would I'd come in between the beds here and I come pretty close to the ground. You always need to shake it a little. It knocks the greens back. So I'll come to the other side. Easy. But these beds are done. I need to turn these beds in. I I've cut these six times already. So they're dead. But it's, that's it. It's just as easy as that. And this thing makes really good cuts on the greens too. Yeah, like, let's take a look. Um, you know, there's some tatsoi, more arugula. It doesn't, you know, it comes out perfectly cut. It doesn't come out all jacked up looking it just looks perfect for you know, your restaurant or your for the customer. aesthetics right because yeah. they don't want to torn up well cut yeah. yeah exactly it comes out just like you would get a box from sprouts or costco or any of those salad that you used to get. awesome so currently i'm using the tub method which surprisingly works really well to clean the greens it takes aphids off leaves dirt um and hopefully this week i'll be able to build my greens bubbler which is the last piece in my post harvest station here then I'm going to be able to just harvest, uh, clean, and bag insanely quick. Uh, so I'm really excited to get it all built. So, but for now, this is a great way to start if you're just starting out. So you just fill it up. All right, so normally I would fill it up to the top because the higher the water goes, kind of the easier it is to keep the water cleaner because a lot of the dirt and stuff, will heavier stuff will fall to the bottom. Um, in between washings, I use this pool strainer to pull out any wood chips or aphids, other bugs, ladybugs to get stuff out. And even when I filled up, you know, with the hose, there's some dirt on the hose. Uh, here's little things. And then I just toss it over here. Um, so when the water's clean, all you gotta do I toss my greens in. Okay. And then I dunk them. So I just push them down a couple times. Let them come back to the top. I'll grab a handful 
and then I'll dunk it a couple more times, and that'll, you know, take off any remaining aphids or, or dirt. Toss it into my spinning receptacle, and you'll see all the half inch holes in there that'll bleed out the water. So this is a quick and dirty, get, get most of the stuff off kind of thing. Yeah, and you know, my mix becomes really clean just by doing this actually. I, it's kind of uh, amazing how well this works. So, you know, if I was doing my normal like 15 pounds of mix at a time, I would fill this bucket up. Like when I did it yesterday, the bucket was like up to here with greens and I spun it and there was no damage to the greens at all. So now here's my solid spinner and I just took a, what is this, a GE washing machine. I paid 50 bucks for this thing. I pulled it apart a little bit. <clears throat> I made sure that the, the opening door latch switch is always on so that it, it will run whenever I want it to. And then I just used the actual knob from the washer itself to control when it goes on and off and when it drains out the water. So <clears throat> I just, I, I found out where the, the, where the spin and the drain cycle is. I need to make a little mark to remind myself, but this is in the spin mode. So I just do this. And that's all you have to do. So I've noticed once you, once you see the green spin to the outer rim, they are now much more dry. So you'll just see some surface moisture, not huge water droplets. So now I take this and I take it to my drying tables with my fans. Then normally this, this drying screen would be clean, but it's dirty from uh, the market yesterday. Dump it out, spread it out, turn my fan on. Electricity's off, but I would turn the fan on and then it dries and it dries within about five minutes after being in that spinner. Um, when I was doing only the drying table, it took like 45 minutes to dry a 15 pound mix. Um, so now when I'm delivering it in my bag, there's just a little bit of moisture, just enough to keep everything um, from transpiring and keep it really fresh. Um, but there's not a, enough water that it becomes like um, gooey, you know, it starts your to rot out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rots. it's nasty. So, it's incredible. I love this system. I cannot wait to get my greens bubbler going. And then it's just going to be, you know, like clockwork getting these greens uh, done. Yeah. How much, how long do you think it would take? Let's say you're doing one full bed, right? Yeah. To go from harvesting yeah. with a quick cut all the way to on the drying rack yeah. and then packed up. Um, if you're going as fast as you could. Yeah. I would say for a 15 pound mix, like an hour, get it done in like an hour to an hour and a half something like that. And then how much are you selling the 15 pounds for, do you think? Um, the price that I sell it for, I, I have two different size bags for people to choose from, but the price is, when you work out the math, it's $10 per pound. Yeah. So for all my baby cut premium stuff, I'm always trying to get $10 per pound. That's the price point that I'm always looking for. Nice. So you got 150 bucks out of an hour's worth of labor. That's right. Obviously there's more stuff when you're growing it and, yeah, and all that, cost. but. But it's pretty cool. Like I, I realized like after five or six weeks of cutting those greens, four beds that are thir uh, 30 inches by 36 feet, I paid off my greens harvester in like five or six weeks. That wow. tool costs about 600 bucks. Yeah. But when you can pay it off that quick, you know. And now it's pure profit, now it's time pure saving. Profit, it's time saving. I can invest my time into other things. They'll make, they'll make the farm better. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks for showing us that. Yeah. All right. We're going to go check out some other stuff on the farm now. See you guys later.